Or Sarah's here. Probably <laughs> my upward hill struggle. She's having a hard time walking up these hills. It's Back okay. Back in my day. Back in my day when I had to walk up hills in the snow both, both ways. ways. No shoes. Sarah's getting markers. Markers. Hello. This is probably all just gonna be B-roll anyway. Momiji. Are you excited? <laughs> Hello. There you are. Hi. So what are we up to today? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go to a park. Mm -hmm. Who knows? We're just going. Yeah. We're living our best lives. Dude, look at that. That's a dream come true. Yeah, clearly, damn. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh, damn. Sarah's just taking uh, photos of strangers' homes. Time. <laughs> Sarah has a hard time with these hills. So it's all legs. <laughs> There's a sweet doggo outside. His name is Jeffrey. Sweet boy. What? Oh, there's a tiny, hang on, where is it? Oh, there he is. There he goes, I'm on an adventure. Sarah's taking a quiz based on, uh, she's choosing her favorite classic novels and this BuzzFeed quiz is gonna tell her who she is at her core. You got your introversion. Being an introvert is definitely your most defining trait. You, spend, you enjoy spending time in your own company and as someone who spends a lot of time observing others, you're an excellent judge of character. You sometimes bail on social situations you wish you would attend, but you really value your downtime. The close group of friends you let into your life are really all you need when you crave social interaction. There it is. That's, That's me, right? That's me. And also me. <laughs> it's us. It's you too. Yes. That's the both of us. The bell jar. Who would pick Atlas Shrug over the bell jar? Uh, Jane Ann. The question is who likes Ian Rand? In general. There it is. Um, my kindness is who I am in my core. I am warm, compassionate, and naturally a caretaker of others. People may at first mistake your compassion for being a pushover, but you actually have a sharp eye and know when someone is trying to take advantage of you. Mm. You're very easy to get on with and are able to resolve conflict without being dragged into it. You're more in tune with your feelings than most, <laughs> so it's important to take care of yourself as much as you care for others. Well, that's very nice. Yeah. That's a good surprise. Kind, kind introverts is our brand. So yes. I think that's a good one. What are we off to? Look at you! Hang on, focus. Public transportation. There it is. Public transportation. What a I know. We're on our way to a Japanese bookstore. So I can spend a lot of money. You will. Station. On stationery. So there's so many pens, dude. Like there's so many pens and notebooks and things and. They also have like lots of like tiny useless stationery. Yes. So like tiny stationery that's not practical in any way, shape, or form, but it's still so cute to look at. I know, mine too. That'll be fun. And then that's probably gonna be it for the day, right? Yeah. Maybe. I think that might be it. And then we'll go home and 
keep doing more of the same stuff. Wow, the lighting in here is not flattering at all. It's not. I look paler than <laughs> stuff you could want. Yeah. So, can we? What do you want to try? The Earl. The Earl Grey. Can we try the Earl Grey? And can I ever try the Scout Mint? Oh, Scout Mint for you. Earl Grey for both of you. No, just these are both for her. Oh, cool. Earl Grey. If you are looking for the best experience of your entire life. Mm. Earl Grey and lemon curd. Or no, it's, I'm sorry. Earl, Earl Grey, Grey honey lavender with lemon curd. It tastes like a high tea. It's called the Holy Trinity. Mm-hmm. Oh, we fin y'all finally decided on a name for it? The Holy Trinity. I like I've it. I've been calling it the Holy Trinity for a while. Oh, good. It is the Holy Trinity. Woo! The gang's all here. Hi! this bread looks. This is why I want a Dutch oven because you can make this amazing bread. Wow. Why are Dutch ovens so fucking expensive? And, and it's the fancy cooking bread. Yeah, and it's over $300. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Dutch ovens do not have to be $300. I mean, yeah. on average they're like 50, but I found one on Amazon for 30. I can link it to you if you want. Put the link in the doobly do. I will leave the link in the doobly-doo. I'll leave the link in the doobly-doo to the Dutch oven I'm gonna buy. <laughs> <laughs> 